How to Prepare Your Own Big Game by Gary Kitchen, Chapter 4 on Small Game, Venison, Sheep, Goat, Antelope, etc. There are several ways to cut small game depending upon the equipment on hand. If you've limited freezing capacity, you should bone as much as possible, such as the hams and loins, to take up like freezer space. Fat should be removed from wild game as it does not freeze well and will usually taste rancid. It is a good practice to wash the carcass of wild game with a solution of vinegar and water, one pint of vinegar to two to three gallons of water. Remove all hair you may have missed. Tools. Curved six-inch skinning knife, narrow-bladed boning knife, 9 to 14 inch steel, 24 to 28 inch meat saw, a wooden table, or a piece of plywood to place on your kitchen table to save it from being scarred or cut up. Note, a solid wooden door makes a good cutting table. Cutting. Picture 1C as a lamb carcass, which I am using for demonstration. Small game is cut basically the same. In picture 2C, I am removing the hams from the carcass. An easy way to tell where to make your cut is to push down on the middle of the back and where the carcass bends is the place to make the cut. In fact, picture 3C, I have separated the hams by cutting down the middle of the backbone. In picture 4C, I'm separating the shoulder from the loin. Make your cut five ribs over from the neck. Picture 5C, removing the shanks and breast from the shoulder. Picture 6C is a shoulder that has been split down the backbone. You may do this before you start to cut up the carcass or do it uh, as you go along. Picture 7C is the loins. Slice all steaks three quarter inches to one inch thick. Cut roast large enough to fit your family needs but never less than two and a half inches thick. Now that you have the carcass broken down into usable cuts, follow the dotted lines on the diagram of small game to see which way to slice the steaks and roast. Remember, smoked and cured venison loins and hams are delicious.